I think it's fiesta time. I would like to apologize, first of all, for my hair. I don't know why it is so enormous today. He wonders why I wear a hat. Well, yeah. So I, I'm sorry if it, if it. But the reason I think it's Fiesta time, we went an entire. Unless I'm mistaken, we went an entire episode of ECW without hearing the word sternum once. <laughs> so I think. I think it's time to party. I think we need to party like Ric Flair. <laughs> Well, then we can get rid of this. Let's go get the booze. ECW, January 29th, 30th, 29th. 29th. Yeah, I don't have a calendar. Anywhere. It's the 29th. 29th, 2008. Exciting night. It's a very exciting, decent night. Uh, you want to go ahead and do the first? Uh, uh, if you want to go in order. You want to do it or you want me to do it? Do what? Okay. First match of the evening was Kane versus Shelton Benjamin. Oh, yes. Um, this was a good uh, match for Shelton Benjamin. You know, he's been fighting jobbers for about the past month, with the exception of Colin Delaney. Right. But, uh... He, he, he won that little Rumble thing last he week. He won that little Rumble thing that week. That's right. Um, so it was... This was his chance to turn it around. This is his chance to say, okay, you know, here I am. I'm going to take that step. And what does he do? Runs he, away! He runs away from Kane. I mean, he doesn't even fight him. Kane, Andrew! Kane won't fight! Kane like. Kill! Oh, <laughs> Kane wasn't happy. Yeah, poor, poor So, poor uh, Kane. Uh, uh, what's the point? Right. If you know, you're going to do is run away, why, why, do we, why should we care about so this? So, the, the question is Is Benjamin going to be a face or is he going to be a heel? If Punk is going to get pulled out of the picture, I don't think. Well, we, we may have, I don't know. Um, the next match of the evening uh, Kelly Kelly versus Victoria. And I gotta say, I love Kelly Kelly to death. Don't get me wrong. I mean, the, she's a very attractive young lady. But the poor girl just looks like she's confused all the time. She's just got this face like, maybe she is. <laughs> maybe she is such an innocent that the world <laughs> she's frightens in, and yeah, confuses innocent. her. Innocent. That's why she was wearing that nice little shirt that she was wearing. Innocents wear stuff like that. <laughs> that was what I wanted to point out. So Victoria was Spider Woman, and then Kelly was wearing the, a bikini, but then this. Thing that had it sleeves, like a, basically mesh cover, and then it went like that. It had no point whatsoever. Like I'm saying, she's confused. She thinks she's wearing a shirt when she's not. Uh, <laughs> third match of the evening: Colin Delaney versus Miz and Morrison. This is officially the point where it has gone too far. Although I think I know what's going to happen. What I said, in fact, I texted you for no reason whatsoever, saying what I think should happen to Colin Delaney, and I thought that was going to happen. Tonight, what I think need to, needed to happen was that Colin unwittingly wins a match. He, uh, somehow or other, uh, uh, his opponent basically hurts, knocks themselves out, and Colin ends up winning, thinking that he won. I just thought that was going to happen, because it, it, he, a couple of times, the problem he with, got the best The problem with the horses. match tonight is all the other matches in the past, they basically just came out and beat the crap out of him. Right. Miz and Morrison made fun of him. I mean, it, it, they took it as, uh, it was to the point now where you didn't care about the guy anymore because he was just being ridiculed. Yeah, yeah. And I thought there were a couple of times where, you know, it might happen. They might, you know, screw up and he'd get a fluke win. Yeah, yeah. Didn't happen. But at the end, Tommy Dreamer Tommy right Dreamer comes out, which is why I'm thinking that that's going to save this thing, that next week we're going to see Colin and Tommy together again for the first time. Now, that could be interesting, together again for the first time. Way to make sense. Together again for the first for time. For the first time. That makes sense to me. I uh, Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Why I said it. I only speak truth. Uh, yeah. And I spit it too. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth match of the evening uh, was CM Punk versus Elijah Burke. It's very nice to see Elijah back. We haven't seen him for about a month or so. Right, right. Um, a straightforward match. Uh, both guys are very talented. They're very technical wrestlers. CM Punk gets the win. Mm -hmm. You know, to elaborate on that, or is... I, mean, I think they're pretty much straightforward. Just straightforward. Pretty forward. much This was an... In okay, go ahead. I was going to say it was an interesting night. There was a lot that happened. Yeah. Fifth match. I mean, five matches for ECW show. This is pretty good. Big, big stuff. Uh, fifth match, Kobe Kingston versus a random jobber, but that's to be expected because he's still new. Or whatever they like. I was doing it so that my hand doesn't leave the frame. Oh. <laughs> I like Kofi Kingston. He reminds me. Um, he reminds me of a young Booker T. 
I see. I he see just, a. Uh, he just has that look. Bright future for Kofi. I he's, he's very a, athletic. He's got a good. He just, just everything. He just, yeah, he just oozes he's, personality yeah. and charisma. So I you look, not like you him. know to see a lot from him. Um, hopefully soon he'll start fighting actual people on the roster and not jobbers. But he is new. Right. He's so got that's that's established. They have to build it up. So sixth thing onto the siesta. I'm not going to do it. What, what am I going to do? Sing? Oh, I guess we're not going to do it. Cuando caliente. Ayo. Ayo sí. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Guerrero family. The Guerrero. Fiesta. Guerrero family. And only one showed up. Gee, what a great <laughs> family <laughs> reunion. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, it was a joke on Chavo. It was like, yeah, the whole family's gonna be there. Go on, Chavo, go. It's a typical family thing. <laughs> Everyone says they're showing up and nobody does. You know those uh, those uh, tight. Uh, so uh, at the beginning, <laughs> we see the uh, the uh, what what the hell? Mariachi. Mary, Mary, thank you, mariachis. And I was glad that they, I think we're singing like three or four different <laughs> songs. <laughs> I think they were all just playing their own damn thing. <laughs> they, they, they were terrible. Mariachi bands only have like three songs to choose from, and so they figured, you know. They weren't organized. They and, just uh, said something. Basically, we see them. Armando standing in the middle of the ring. Someone is standing to his back, and he made the comment. He he called it. He said, "I did." That's CM Punk. He was he was he was you trying can, to. You could tell he somebody had their hair pulled up, yeah. but just the way he was facing. His head was down. He didn't do anything. He kind of he would he would kind of direct the others. So anyway, back to the thing. Edge gives Guerrero this little promo. Um, Guerrero. Chavo. I don't do the roar on my arse. Yeah. Grrr. It's good. Uh, basically says, I am I am the future. Of wrestling. Of wrestling. <laughs> and then uh, CM Punk pulls a Jeff Jarrett on him and hits him over the head with a guitar. I got to tell you though, that stash, I mean, it was working <laughs> for CM Punk. I thought that was t that move for the stash. He he had to he had to uh, walk outside and cool down. The stash. <laughs> no, uh, it was cool. That's just not true. That's true. I swear. CM Punk. He just one up. And he gra he pulls the belt off of off of him, holds it up for everybody. Just one up him like that. However, having said that, I don't want to see CM Punk fight Chavo again. I think this is. CM Punk's time to move on. I think I think Chavo's winning is is kind of an anomaly because he's not a SmackDown. I mean, he's not an ECW. He's not an official ECW superstar. Star. So I think pretty soon, if Punk doesn't get it back and stay with the ECW, if Punk moves on to SmackDown or something, we're going to see like Shelton or Kofi very quickly come in and take the title because it, it doesn't belong to Chavo. It just I mean, obviously for uh, story reasons because he didn't win it legitimately, but also because he's not a uh, yeah. He's not a, a smack uh, ECW, you know. So there you have it, folks. Uh, that's our ECW room for January. We have, a, we have a, uh, an elongated version of the Hey There John Cena, which you need to see. Check it out. And since we have a little bit of time, yes, a few people have been asking about my little theory that I mentioned on yesterday's video. Since we have a little bit of time, I'll go ahead and discuss it briefly. Yes. What I'm predicting is John Cena will beat Randy Orton at No Way Out. Randy Orton will claim his rematch clause, say he wants his rematch, and he will get his rematch at WrestleMania. So we will not see John Cena versus Triple H or whoever, like we thought, and I'm predicting a triple threat match. I think that'll be a little bit more exciting. Triple H wins more the than, More than likely still be Triple H, which I'm not too pleased about, but hell, I mean, at least it's not John Cena versus Triple H, which, which we've seen before. But again, again, that's just speculation. That may not be the case. So right, don't, right. you know, bug me about it. Or, well, you know, you can bug me about it, but don't, don't be too mean. I'm sensitive. Oh, stop it! Bye. CharismaWrestling.com. CharismaWrestling.com. There. That's ECW. All, All right. right. Good night. Take it easy, everybody.